Hello folks, this is Shades here. Time for another edition of Shades of Soapbox. Well, so much for keeping things geeky and friendly. Time for me to rage again. Now, I'm not a big follower of sports, admittedly, and quite frankly, this would probably have never even crossed my radar if I don't follow others play other news sources, but when I heard about this, I had to comment on it. For those not in the know, the NFL recently put out a new policy that prevents protest kneeling at football games. Basically, the players are not allowed to kneel during the national anthem at any NFL event. And if they if they don't want to stand during the national anthem, they have to go back into the back into the back uh, locker room or out off the field. This is basically the NFL of say, way of saying we are catering to those stupid fans who thought that it was unpatriotic to kneel during the national anthem and basically telling these players they're not allowed to protest. I'm sorry. NFL, Roger Goodell, fuck you! Simply put, fuck you! These players were making a statement. They weren't being unpatriotic. If anything, they were being extra patriotic. Because one of the founding principles of our Constitution, the First Hucking Amendment, is the right to freedom of speech and the freedom to protest. So congratulations, you just shit all over the First Amendment doing that. You're telling these players that their duty to their country to being patriotic by your standards is more important than their right to express themselves over legit problems that they have with this country. And I know some some people may disagree with me that that, that these protests are unpa or that are are are, pat are not patriotic. They may feel that they are a slight against America. But if you really understood America, you would know that is absolutely wrong. This would be like buses making a policy that uh, back back in the 40s and 50s that a black person was not would be literally kicked off the bus if they didn't sit in the back like they were supposed to. You tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. Because that's exactly what you're You're telling these players that if they want to express themselves, they can't. Because either they stand for the pledge or they do not exist. Going back to the locker room and in, out of protest, unbelievable. To the players out there, even if you think kneeling was not was unpatriotic forcing you to have to stand is beyond unpatriotic it's forcing you to comply or die that is not how america works it has never been how america works so to any players out there who are listening to this i doubt any of them will but i'm gonna make this statement anyway i have i, I if you truly believe in america i offer you a challenge you have two choices either your entire team defies this policy and kneels, forcing your team to have to suffer the consequences. Or if you ha if you truly do not wish to harm your team and you want and you want to at least uh, make a protest while complying with this policy, your entire team stays in the locker room. Make it clear that you will not stand for this bullshit. I'm sorry, but Colin Kaepernick did nothing wrong, and to punish the NFL for doing his civic his American duty of expressing his uh, protest against this country's problems is quite frankly insulting. I want to make it clear to anyone out there. You may not always agree with what people have to say. You may not always agree with what I have to say, and that's fine. You're free to express your disagreement with me in the comments or make your own video. That is your choice, and I will not deny you that right. But you must remember that I have the right to dispute, to debate you. I have the right to make my case, just as Colin Kaepernick had a right to make his case. He kneeled because the African-American community, even to this day, is mistreated, abused, beaten, and murdered for no other reason that they just happen to be a different color skin. And instead of hearing the complaints, understanding his reasonings, and working with the players to provide them a free way, a, a safe way to protest while still doing their job as players, you decide to punish them because you're worried about people boycotting the NFL. Let me let you in on a little secret. And this is coming from people, uh, from someone who has seen wrestling fans threaten boycotts, who has seen anime fans threaten boycotts, who have seen so many other medium pe people in, in, in entertainment threaten boycotts over shit like this. Even if they do stop watching for a little while, they won't truly stop watching forever. Eventually, they will come back. You may lose a little bit of ratings here for a little while, but eventually, they will forgive, they will forget, they will move on. Just look at who our president is. Many of them have already forgiven his atrocities. Hell, a lot of them think he's doing the right thing anyway. But that's a story for another day. So, you're not losing anything by siding with the players. But by siding 
with these boycotting idiots who are never going to truly boycott the NFL. Let's be completely fair here. They're never truly going to stop watching the NFL. By catering to them, you're only making things worse. And you know what's even worse? A lot of the people who are threatening to not watch the NFL, a lot of them probably don't watch anyway. I'm willing to bet at least a, a chunk of these people who are pissed off at the NFL for letting Colin Kaepernick kneel and others like him, half of them probably don't even watch the NFL. They just saw the image and got pissed off. It happens all the fucking time. People getting pissed off at an image without even knowing the context, not even, not even accepting the context. All they care about is that something they did offended their personal beliefs and they got mad. Because that's what they fucking do. That's all they fucking do. They get mad about shit. Their entire life is so fucked up that they're going to take it out on everybody else by getting pissed off at every little thing that supposedly offends them. To those people, fuck you. Grow the fuck up. And this is coming from a 32-year-old man-child who sits at home watching Japanese cartoons and, soup and, and guys in spandex fighting rubber-suited monsters. And I'm telling you to grow the fuck up. What does that say about you? I at least know what I am. I know that I watch this geeky shit. But I'm mature enough to understand how the world works and raise my children and take care of them and provide for them as best as I can, even if I fail at it so miserably. I at least accept that. You have to be so offended over such petty bullshit when you don't realize that what they're protesting is legit sh problems in this country? Grow the fuck up! I'm sure if I put, if, if this word gets to this video gets around, I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this. But you know what? Bring it on! Because I know where I stand, and I know what I stand for. What do you stand for? What are your beliefs? What are your true policies? Question yourself. Tell yourself this. If you're pissed off at a guy who's kneeling during the national anthem because he wants our country to be better, why aren't we actually looking at what he's protesting about and fixing the fucking problem? Maybe then he won't kneel anymore. You ever thought about that for a minute? It's not that hard to figure out. If they're protesting something, figure out if it's something that can be fixed. Because if you can fix it, then he'll believe in our country again and he'll stop fucking kneeling. No, instead, you gotta punish him for speaking his mind. The very thing our country was founded upon. So, fuck you. I stand with Colin Kaepernick. Uh, no, you know what? No. I kneel with Colin Kaepernick. I kneel to all of those players in the NFL who kneeled in protest. I kneel with you. I know. I'm a 32-year-old white male. I am the definition of everything people have a problem with. The difference is I acknowledge that, and I want to better that. I want my image to be better. And to do that, you have to accept what your image has done. White males in this country still feel like the superior being. And that is wrong. Fix it. Better yourself, or else shut up and get out of the way of those that will. You can tell I'm a little pissed off about this one. And trust me, folks, this is why I don't usually talk politics, but with Shades' Soapbox, you better believe these political rants are coming. I have a lot of strong feelings on a lot of subjects, and the worst is yet to come. Nonetheless, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Let me know what you think about this policy change and about, the, about these protests in the comments down below. Share your opinions with me. I want to hear what you have to say. And if you have any suggestions for any other topics, please post them down there as well. I take a look at all the comments, and I'll see if I can find something worth talking about. I have a whole list of stuff I'm already working on for the future. And don't worry, I've got something geeky planned for tomorrow. Trust me. In the meantime, thank you again for watching. Make sure you follow, if you can, subscribe to my Patreon. Shout out to my Patreon, Solar Star, for your continued support. Shout out to Rakti for your continued donations. And in the meantime, that's going to be it for today. Thank you for enjoying Shades and Soapbox. I'm the Shades, and we'll see you guys next time. Rock on!